So we're going to play with our string, play. We're going to use our string one more time and look at the sides. See if we can make isosceles and equilateral and scalene. And then we're going to throw them all together and combine our two classifications. Okay? See if we can make an obtuse equilateral. I don't think we can. All right, so grab your brown string one more time. Untangle gently. We'll start off with the easy ones. Show me an equilateral. It's okay to use smaller pieces of your string like that. Equilateral. Make sure, um, Leo, that your top is exactly as long as your sides, right? And equilateral. So if you're going to do it with the whole loop, you've got to go big like this. Yeah, that looks good. Looks good. Check with your neighbor. Tell your neighbor what you think. Do you think that hers looks equilateral? Or do you think she needs to go bigger on the bottom? Okay, remember that all the sides need to be the same. So if you've got, if you're using your feet for the base, you've got to be able to spread them out big or shorten your string. Let me see, Alika. <laughs> okay, careful now. <laughs> Okay? So equilateral, how many equal sides? Three. Three equal sides, okay? Show me isosceles. Is that, yeah, and Leo got it. He said, hey, you don't need to move. You were showing me an isosceles. Remember, equilateral is a special kind of isosceles. But that's okay, lots of you move. Let me see your uh, different isosceles. Okay, Christian's got one. He's a tall triangle, skinny bottom. Isosceles, two equal sides. Where are your equal sides? Uh, Which two? These two? 